Now I should be able to start recording with no issues at all. So, hey everybody, Rebellion here, and welcome to Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Let us begin. <laughs> Etrian today, one. Kill the rebel, kill the rebel wolf. Find the rare wood. Place the trap for Napier. I think if we do these and then turn in the quest, just play the shell piece, we can import it and then the potential may unlock. We can try. I think I kill a rebel wolf though. I don't even remember where rebel wolves are found. Oh wait, is that the one of the minion wolves in the uh Yeah, it's one of the minions I believe in the sub area. In this one, the A-planes. Wait, Southern Shrine? I'm forgetting that one entirely then. Oh boy. All right. Which floor had that? Oh, wolf that chased you. Oh, and... Go to the Southern Shrine Floor One, then. <laughs> I actually just don't remember it at all. One hit. I was gonna say they'll get one hit, but as long as it's not Motorm, we're fine. We just don't care about it at all. God damn it. Alright. I want to say this was the hippo, though, right? No, it wasn't. It was this thing. Nobody had something to help with this. All right, we gotta remember how this works. Yeah, that's the RNG Fire Breath Dog. I remember this guy. Had you save how to use Samir in the Google Doc? Wait, that's right. Uh, uh, uh. And also, it's funny you think I have a Google Doc. It's literally just a notepad document. It's just a plain text notepad document.
of the huge universe. Yeah, so I'm sure we'll need new to start off. They are four sets of skills that they have. Buffs, cooldown skills, activation skills, connecting skills, and dress skills. Activation skills are massive edge, trip edge, sharp edge, and natural edge. So like the edge skills. Yep. You need to have uh, used an activation skill to use connecting skill. So cool edge, impulse edge, and bloody edge can only be used after you use an activation skill. As such, Imperials really do have to come up with a pre planner skill. Alright. So we need a Motorm with Motorm. Yep. Alright. Alright. Let's decrease your defense. Let me think of target. They don't want to press anyways. I think we're just gonna go for another shot. She has gone straight mage, yeah. And Mastered it. So, you know, let's see how, how the damage goes up. Just because I can, I'm gonna force into attack order, see how much our damage scales. Wow. That's impressive. Three hits, all right, god damn. Wait. You're weak to ice, right? All right. Let's try using a freeze drive. Why not? Let's lower your attack as well. You can do your big hit. And we're going to try and revive you up. I guess, Gildrill. So gonna try and put ailments on you and damn, your HP's still up there. Sharp edge is my one. Yeah, totally. Yep. We'll go for it. It's five or ten MP, unfortunately. Is the game being damn higher than me? Maybe. I am sort of like not being that that loud right now either. All right, one with one more. So freeze arms, go for you. Damn 
Now I gotta try and revive you up. Yeah, like, you're neutral to, like, blinding, so we should be fine. Freeze arms on you. Woman. Yeah, there's no one in this and we can't, like, cheese out higher levels yet. That I can really understand. Like, not an issue there. Alright, just have four more turns of overheat. Shadow bite. Guess you can stay in the back row until then. Ah, gotcha. Oh yeah, the boss skill, that's right. You know, I'll try the boss skill just to see. We have freeze arms up, but no attack up anymore. I'm gonna the blinds. So now you can use Shadow Bite. No, actually be doing decent damage. Another shot right now, I want to see. Yeah. Oh, front row. <laughs> Only Giltrill's getting hit. Because Motorm, but it's alright. I'm just surprised, even with the, that attack's accuracy and blindness, it hit Giltrol. Glad to see you're back in one piece. Hmm. Well, this stone sure is something. It's almost like metal, so heavy and sharp. You can slice the finger off if you're not careful. Seems a little over the top to make it a prosthetic hand out of its material. Dangerous, even. 
<laughs> Wait, that's it. He's really going to pull a hidden weapon on it. He's so cool. Right then, here's the reward. Hope you'll come back. I'll come by for another soon. So many are so close to 40. God damn it. So this is grab something somewhere in the shrine. And we still need to make that sword for the Ronin that I just keep forgetting. <laughs> Place it. That's right. Yeah. Find rare wood and capture some new. Gotcha. I don't know why I came back in here. That's, I keep on forgetting that Giltro, you have 77 agility. God damn. And you got hit. No, the other time shining. <laughs> yeah, he got hit twice. All right, so Southern Shrine, I think you said floor four. trying to see if there are dead ends somewhere that like maybe I could think that's where I need to go. Alright. We can then if we spread throw and then throw sand, but I'm gonna go for this for the moment. Focus on one decrease their attack for the moment because both of you can actually become pretty rough. I think we have just enough attack in general to not really worry about it. Hopefully. Yeah. How's it going, JKO? Welcome. Uh, Wait, what the hell is that emote? God damn it. <laughs> now let's see how much this damage ends up becoming. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's been part of Lachi the Rock, I think. That one scene. I'm exhausted. How'd the gym go, man? I'm just looking for something right now, then how about I use this? I'm assuming I'm not going to notice, probably. Before I was asleep. God damn it, I'm so sorry to hear that. 
Would it be this dead end? No, it's not. When the ruin, do you arrive at a dead end with walls on three sides? Seeing no way forward, you prepare to depart when you notice a small hole in the wall. The whole swan seems quite deep, so you can't get a good look at what's inside. There could be something dangerous in there, or there could be nothing at all. I'm going to find out, though. Whether or not to put your hands at the hole to determine its contents. Sure. I think Giltro is agile enough that he can get his hand out if need be. Probably safe Giltro puts their hand on the wall in the hole. Wait. Was Giltro wearing gauntlets? Um... Did Giltro have gauntlets or no? Fuck. Are they talking about armor? No, but I'm thinking maybe the portrait. Like their artwork. Were, did the Night Seeker have gauntlet? I don't think so. I think it was like just gloves. So probably not, right? Um, you have a log button that cannot be pushed right now. I'm gonna say no then. All right, this is great then. Capricorn, we still know that it was asking if he had gauntlets on. That's it. Like that wasn't the concern at all. You consider weather. No, it says, um, doesn't that probably say if Giltro put their hand in the hole on the wall? Wait, was Giltro wearing gauntlets? And that's the question. says you consider whether or not to put your hand inside the hole to determine its contents. I said, sure. Who does it? Giltrel. Doesn't that probably say if Giltrel puts their hand in the hole in the wall? Wait, did he have gauntlets? That's it. I saw we have a coin. Yeah, sure. Heads, he has them on. Tails, he does not have them on, I guess. Whatever it rolled into, that's valid. So, they do not have gauntlets on, apparently. Though surprisingly deep, Gocho reaches all the way up to the elbow before finally getting to the end. Gocho can feel several round, flat objects with their fingers. Upon removal, they are revealed to be coins. Have been rewarded for your bravery. Once again, return to exploring the ruins. I guess. Alright, that was not the quest. Damn it. Just a random interaction right there, Capricorn.
Got to paralyze everyone. Oh god, really guilt roll. forgot. Large part of our damage is on Sumire. Sumire and um, uh, Giltra are damage to us really at the moment. While Anna is TP damage. Yeah. I'm in the back. I mean, fine. Nanda? Following the request received at Napier's firm, your party walks around searching for a tanuki wearing a hair clip. You soon spot a small hole in the ground ahead of you. Based on the tanuki you've seen in the labyrinth, you determine that one of their dens would be about that size. Figuring you have nothing to lose, you take out the trap you brought and sit it up in the front of that hole. Being a simple trap box, it takes no time at all to prepare. All that remains now is to wait for the tanuki to spring it. After some time, your patience is rewarded. A single tanuki shows up. You also spot the hair clip on its head, fitting the description you received from Napier. It's probably safe to say the tanuki is the target. The tanuki stares at the box that sits in front of its home, clearly fascinated by it. After hesitating for a while, it seems to notice something that intrigues it and touches the box. As it does, instead of capturing the tanuki, the box falls open, exposing its contents. Inside of the variety of fruits and meats, all of which are safe for Tanuki to eat. You suspect they, their spike was tranquilizer, so you decide to wait and see what happens. However, no matter how long you watch it, the Tanuki, tanuki continues gobbling up the food like nothing's the matter. Sending something off, you decide to approach the Tanuki. To your surprise, the Tanuki doesn't show fear when it sees you. Rather, it openly approaches. Not only that, but it rubs against your leg like it wants attention. Thinking that this isn't the behavior of a thief, you find yourself more and more confused. At any rate, you've got a ten uh, tanuki for the request. You decide to take it back to Napier's firm. At first, you hold it tightly for fear that it might run away, but it doesn't struggle one bit. In fact, it seems quite happy in your arms. There's no point in thinking about it any longer. You should just take it to Napier's firm. All right. I gotta, I gotta buy two more Ariane threads when I get back. Nanda? Ah, it's you. Wait, it, is that? Napier grabs the nuke out of your hands. A hair clip tumbles from its fur to the ground. <laughs> Silly little thing. I can't believe you caused so much trouble for me. I'm glad I don't have to worry about you anymore. Thank you very much for your assistance. I handle the rest of this affair, so please, don't afford your best to come and see her. Pick up the hair clip. I swear they don't need it, so you may take it. I only wanted the Tanuki anyway. Oh. Uh, oh, right. That hair clip was very important. W will you please give it to me? <laughs> Fine, I'll explain. Just stop looking at me with that suspicious gaze. The truth is, not too long ago, I traveled with another guild to the Southern Shrine. That is where I met this Tanuki. As you can tell, it's quite fond of people. Just like now, I picked up the dar darling creature and gave it some food. 
But just as well as just we were bonding, one of the guild adventure scouts came running back, shouting about a monster. Please get off this little one. I'm useless in combat, so I cannot blame the adventure for doing as he did. I was really worried that this Tanuki may have been may have found himself in danger. I figured the quickest way to find him was to have you search for the clip I put on his fur. <laughs> so I submitted the request, and voila, we are reunited. Thank you for your help. There, that was the whole story. Are you satisfied now? Then get yourself to the tavern and pick up the reward. You gonna keep it? Mama. What? Why would I keep a soft, fluffy, cute... <sighs> you got two ears, don't you? I said go to the tavern. Good work! What did she want you to retrieve? Hmm. What a tanuki! You want to capture a tanuki? And when you gave it to her, she was treating it with love and care? Ugh. Not asking me out is one thing, but you should really have to go and rub it in my face with a blasted tanuki? <laughs> Some people say I'm, a, I'm as playful as a tanuki, but apparently I don't compare to the real thing. Maybe I should be more foxy instead. Right then, day one of foxy come, uh, Priscilla, let's get it started by handing you that reward. Not sure how that's going to go, but oh well, thanks. Alright, Mio reached level 40. Alright, Mio. You were belonging to Zeno Parasite, I believe. So let me go ahead and find your stuff. I think you sent me stuff. I don't remember. It, you did. All right, good. Just send me a, a low resolution picture. How's it going, Motorm? Welcome. Like 443 max max 4133. Five, I think this is. Nothing. 211. Nothing. Four. Nothing. Okay, no. Binding my asthma had five points in it. But also, we can access these. And you had some points into Ethereal Reap. Once per debuff. God damn. You had, like, I think four points into this. Two into each of these. And maxing out this. And the spelling math armor is reduced by seven turns instead of ending. Ah. I'm going to follow it left to right, just because if you're not going to tell me which, if you want one or the other first, I'll get Binding Miasma to four, and then we're going to move on to the others. <laughs> if anything, that's actually a pretty good debuff to lower Bind Resistance and Natural Recovery. All right, the next one we need is... Kimitachi! We need to find rare this rare kind of wood, and I don't remember where to get it.
good for and strength are probably up there. Move to Southern Shrine Chop areas. I have those mapped out. You have take. You have mine. Floor three has chop. Then the last area has one chop with an easy access. by the threads? I believe I did, yeah. Yep, they're right here. Oh, we'll sell our stuff. We'll sell our stuff. There we go. See? Now the inventory is more under control. But... All of these Thurisias. I have some in storage already. So just money. Why do I have so many heavenly gifts in Theresius? Heavenly gifts were gotten from the DLC, I believe. Running them over and over and over. And as for Theresius, those were just from the quest that we just did. I normally carry two or three at a time, but that quest gave us five of each. gifts I don't really feel that big of a calling to store them but I'll try to hold a certain amount of these on hand just for like the double experience if we get to a good spot I'm not a hide though is gonna get, get get put away I think that's like something we're gonna use with preparation I think this thing we don't need. And the medicine, uh, Medicina 3, I don't think we need either. Not right now. The Amritas, maybe the Hamals, possibly, but I don't know yet. For not knowing I could have a shogun with armor. <laughs> we don't need a formaldehyde either on the hand, so. Alright, we now are at 93 stored out of 99. That's also an interesting thing worth noting, that for consumable items, they stack. That I did not know. All right, fancy. The formaldehyde is just a stack of two here. 
And with the analysis, analysis scopes that I apparently just have a bunch of, I'll take one with me. Alright, so if we gotta find something, there is someone we're gonna bring in. I'm gonna say out of a whole out of a bunch of hope and probably knowing that we're gonna do a bunch of running away Demi since every no in case there is some reason a random fight, we know that, or we can assume that things might be okay. We can run away, and we're just going to try and get some things here. And if anything, Demi has an option to run away built in. So, floor three. Demi had the flea built in. That's like what makes me so comfortable about him being on the team right here with that motor arm. Sticky vine. Sign me Senna. And then harvestry. Sticky vine. All right. go to the other chop area just to like have another chance at it or have another one I could sell it and see what else it has or what else it can give me. Well, is that a gold foe? I don't think so. Bitch. I... Demi's wearing literally nothing. We have no buffs or heals on the team. I'm gonna have to avoid it. God damn it. Pointed logs. God damn it, just more pointed logs. Look out, wait, what? You know you're rude, game. Oh god. You know what? Fine, just Demi. And Giltrill still died. Giltrill, I gave you agility stacking in the hopes that you're gonna not get hit that much. We put you in the back row as well so you don't get hit much. But Tanuki got it every time, right? Just... Oh, Alright, Demi. By the hand of God, get the fuck up. Wait, hold on. 
Hold on, actually. It was the other way. I'm an idiot. I still kind of love that it, you raised your, your skill points enough that the slap is a full heal when they come back from the dead. And if I have Demi for this dungeon, I'm going to actually use it. Oh yeah, also, uh, skills, Anna, horoscope. God, for good reason, it's kind of funny that, it, that you did. <laughs> Okay, good. Right. Hey, we got that one with the J. Control. <laughs> no, Mio got a chance to run away first. All right. All right, first floor. Assassin's danger running back to normal. Too bad we don't have ton assassins on the team anymore. <laughs> What you doing for 4th of July at a Burger King? That's it. Nothing. Like, I don't do really anything to celebrate stuff that much anymore. Let's muster that squad again. What is this, the 4th of July? Uh, the United States Independence Day. They made a movie out of it. It involved aliens. Wait, hold on. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I remember. I remember game. You have an entire day for a movie? People loved the movie that much, actually. Then they made a shitty sequel. I don't know, I keep going here instead of the bar. Sorry. Or nectars. Mm, excellent, excellent. This is just what the Ronin wanted. Making her own wooden sword will surely help build her self-confidence. Hmm? I think she'd be better off improving her sense of direction instead of training so hard. Apparently, her bindos constantly have to track down to track her down when she gets lost, and she gets lost all the time. Because of this, she hasn't gone uh, gone into the forest at all. I wonder if she'll ever be be, uh, be able to go exploring in there. <laughs> Maybe she'll someday she'll put in her course to take her into the forest. That's enough speculation for me. Here's a reward. Good luck once again. And... It's so close! So much of the team is so close to being level 40. We don't have any uh, requests off, so. All right, we need to just keep going then. That was done already, I believe. There's nothing here for like a, a for the HQ at all. We're not gonna turn in.
So no more. Di what? There's another kangaroo? Let me sell right now these things. Let's see again. And I do not know if we can actually kill it that quickly. I'm gonna try. But let's see. thing is now let's go with blind for the moment and again move them back maybe maybe like it looks like he's apparently very weak to blinds blind and paralysis let's find your legs as well lower your defense Start concentrating, force, and do attack for everyone. Didn't land. <laughs> Keep trying to blind. I will try to bind your legs again. Lower your attack now. Go for this. And guard order this time. There we go. That's the good shit. It lets his fan drive, yeah. All right, now with that, we can start just, like, focusing on Shadow Bites. And you are weak to every element. All of them are level three. So I don't think it really matters. I'm gonna do flame grab, I guess. We already have stifling and eroding on you. Withering is ailment resistance and natural recovery, but it costs so much. I'll do it though. Get your charge back. And. I'm gonna do one more attack up and then we're gonna go for the elementals. Front on everyone. drive so we have to go into like start doing sharp edges to reduce the cop reduce it a bit more to lower your defense keep that on track and let's do any of these arms uh, shark arm costs the most 
but also it has higher attack stat on it, I believe, right? Because four is act speed up and four turns in effect. So sure. Do that to the front. <laughs> And Mio is like Liza. Her self buff stays up. Anna is the buff that makes her do more damage and heal TP based on original cost of skill. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, we might actually in after this anyway, so let's not hold back too much. Unfortunately, it's already on cooldown, so this doesn't let me do that. I already kind of put it on there. That's right, it reduces the time by two. I forgot about that. Use uh, Mass Armor will be maintained and won't be dispelled, <laughs> sure. And stifling Miasma. For your attack. And for you, our stronger regen and regain half their TP cost after use. I mean, don't do that yet, just because you're just going to charge right now. Next turn, you will. We'll put shock arms in the back row as well. Four turn use. Cool edge anymore. <laughs> All right, wilting is next. Heather shot buffs are okay. Guard order going is going to go down, but I'm kind of okay with that for the moment. So let's probably just tack over to the front to get to Mary back some HP. Okay, if they have an ailment, Guild Troll seems to just do so much. It's excessive, and I love it. Now that it's like one more left. No one effect lengthens. Um, nah, don't need to. But a powerful attack, who knows how good that is. I want to see. Remember to gift, gift what? Oh, heaven's gift, right. For this and Motorm, you can be the one to use Heavenly Gift. Why not? Now it's to be used the turn, I believe, so we just go for it. Alright. And Gyocho died. God, 
God damn it. Just to make sure that we beat this and everyone is on the team alive. Like Motorm survives. Now this is like a tack down and everything too. Let's see how good that looks. So go to Samira leveled up. Anna, you are one level away. One. Ah, damn it. Oh, Nusta Chika, Yoko Kita no. Let's stay until morning just to get full HP and eight and forces everything back. All right, and for skills, Giltrel at level 40 now. You were saving up, but I don't remember for what. Um, one to auto spread, one to follow trance. Auto spread can't be gotten. You need to spread spread throat of two. I'm able to drive Giltro force break and us force break. Well at least we can test our damage, probably. On the wyvern. Astro signs, Zodiac break. It comes as fire as lightning at the same time, so if the enemy is weak to ice and resistant to lightning, it counts as ice. And if the condition was to kill it with lightning, it's still lightning. Yeah, so one to uh, one to spread throw. All right, so now what's it called from there? One to auto throw, one to follow trans. Status element attack skills may activate twice. Okay. Yeah, one more point, Giltra. Where do you want to put this? Maxing shadow cloak and learn auto cloak. Over the next three turns, user can null a physical attack once. The real is the dawning of just like you're gonna get hit so much. It's like, all right, let's invest on not getting hit. The game forced my hand. <laughs> I mean, if you want, you don't have to, but like, it's on you, your character, and all. If you want to level up Shadow Cloak and start going that entire route, we will.
It's mainly due to the Night Seeker being a squishy, so backline is starting to seem very good. Yeah. I might switch you to a permanent backline. Only to auto, yeah. And Shadow Cloak looks at what at what point how good does it get? Oh, it just it's a literal only one turn. But question. Does that mean for the next three turns, once per turn, you can negate a physical attack? Or that for the next three turns, you can negate one attack. But once it's done, you have to cast the skill again. One each turn? Oh, okay. All right, then. We'll put one in Shadow Cloak, then. Let's do it. Then Sumire. This one was BB Guy, I believe. Um, let me see. Yep, that was BB Guys. And if he gave me anything yeah maybe guy never gave me like a, a route so we're running into an issue here If you never gave me a route, this point just can't be, these points can't be allocated. Do you think what he gave you, Rep? I'm at least somewhat sure. There's nothing on Discord. There's nothing in my documents. Like, if he gave it somewhere else on chat, then and I forgot to write it down, probably, but I don't know. Excel drive uh, is almighty cut damage. Untyped cut to one enemy. And it overheats for eight turns. But it gets so expensive. Jesus Christ, it gets so expensive. <laughs> but all right, now, Mio. Now, that one belonged to Xenoparasites, I believe. So let me go back to that. I think finding Miasma. Was the one that you wanted at five at some point here, but I don't know if you want me to get these things. Mainly ephemer uh, ephemeral reap. Once per debuff. Or if you want me to go into these two first and then this. Thermoda one for now? All right. <laughs> then enduring. We can't get enduring armor. Unless you mean now we start working toward getting enduring. Like two each and then that. Gotcha. All right. And then Anna, you are still waiting. You're saving up so that way once you get 40, you can get... I think it's just all in on Meteor. I don't remember. 
Multi-Strike, Ether, and Meteor, I think. All Meteor, last I recall. God damn. Let me double check. All into Ether and then one Meteor? Really? Wait. I wonder why only one Meteor? Because this seems like, I think, your big damage skill, right? Send 27 dp in every normal fight or 35. <laughs> All right. So six and one strike for the bigger modifier before going into meteor. Modifier is going to do more than the base damage. All right. Yeah, in the case of Meteor, it's 6 to 15. Then that becomes 35 costs. So at skill level 1 with 3 debuffs, Mio can do 90% damage with that skill. It's not the greatest, but everyone is going to benefit from attack order now. Yep. Here's my damage to 95%. Ah. Uh. Alright, so we need just a little bit more experience. And I'm unsure if we should go to the boss or just continue with the story. And maybe that will give me more experience and we'll find the next area. I kind of want to try the, the Wyvern after you level to 40. Because then I can see all the DPS sort of like in one turn, right? That's my thought on that. I'd like to do the Wyvern after that. So I'm tempted to go over here instead to the pedal bridge. <laughs> 